Failure. It's a word that can strike fear into the hearts of even the bravest of us. We're taught from a young age that failure is something to be avoided at all costs. But what if I told you that failure is actually the key to success? Some of the most successful people in the world have experienced failure countless times before achieving their goals. Oprah Winfrey was fired from her first TV job. I want you to know this, remember this. There is no such thing as failure. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. It doesn't matter how far you might rise, at some point you are bound to stumble because if you're constantly doing what we do, raising the bar, if you are constantly pushing yourself higher, higher, the law of averages, not to mention the myth of Icarus, uh, predicts that you will at some point fall. And when you do, I want you to know this, remember this, there is no such thing as failure. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Now, when you're down there in a the hole, it looks like failure. So this past year, I had to spoon feed those words to myself. And when you're down in the hole, when that moment comes, it's really okay to feel bad for a little while. Give yourself time to mourn what you think you may have lost. But then, here's the key. Learn from every mistake. Because every experience, encounter, and particularly your mistakes, are there to teach you and force you into being more of who you are. Michael Jordan missed over 9,000 shots in his career. I missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. That is why I succeed. J.K. Rowling was rejected by publishers multiple times before Harry Potter was finally published. A mere seven years after my graduation day, I had failed on an epic scale. An exceptionally short-lived marriage had imploded, and I was jobless, a lone parent, and as poor as it is possible to be in modern Britain, without being homeless. The fears that my parents had had for me and that I had had for myself had both come to pass. And by every usual standard, I was the biggest failure I knew. Now I'm not going to stand here and tell you that failure is fun. That period of my life was a dark one. And I had no idea that there was going to be what the press has si since represented as a kind of fairy tale resolution. I had no idea then how far the tunnel extended, and for a long time any light at the end of it was a hope rather than a reality. So why do I talk about the benefits of failure? Simply because failure meant a stripping away of the inessential. I stopped pretending to myself that I was anything other than what I was, and began to direct all my energy into finishing the only work that mattered to me. Had I really succeeded at anything else, I might never have found the determination to succeed in the one arena where I believed I truly belonged. I was set free because my greatest fear had been realized and I was still alive and I still had a daughter whom I adored and I had an old typewriter and a big idea. And so rock bottom, became the solid foundation on which I rebuilt my life. You might never fail on the scale I did, but some failure in life is inevitable. It is impossible to live without failing at something, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. Failure gave me an inner security that I had never attained by passing examinations. Failure taught me things about myself that I could have learned no other way. I discovered that I had a strong will and more discipline than I had suspected. I also found out 
that I had friends whose value was truly above the price of rubies. The knowledge that you have emerged wiser and stronger from setbacks means that you are, ever after, secure in your ability to survive. You will never truly know yourself or the strength of your relationships until both have been tested by adversity. Such knowledge is a true gift. Failure can be demotivating, but it doesn't have to be. Failure is just feedback. It's an opportunity to learn and grow. It's a chance to try again, but this time armed with the knowledge of what didn't work before. Success is not a straight line. It's a journey with ups and downs, twists and turns. Embrace the failures, because they will make the successes that much sweeter. Remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of it. So, the next time you experience failure, don't give up. Use it as an opportunity to grow and learn. Because always failing in life may just be the key to your success. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for more motivational and inspiring videos you need.